mountain biking, kayaking, surfing, camping, cycling, fishing, climbing, triathlon, backpacking, off-roading, trail running. We all want to connect with something that matters to us. The reason we saw the adventure space is it's the least sustainable type of vehicle on the road today. Design research is important because we don't want to make crap. <laughs> You're designing for people. If you don't know how people will use it, you can't create a good product. So we started traveling a bunch to go in field and do a lot of parking lot style research. Looking at surfers in Southern California, mountain bikers in the Pacific Northwest, skiers in Colorado. Is it just like the two of you do just lurking in a parking lot, looking over <laughs> the bushes? <laughs> uh, that's happened. <laughs> Outside of that, you just start asking questions. What issues they've had in the past and what their current vehicles can't do that they want it to do. You say, wow, that's so awesome. They'll be like, well, yeah, let me tell you about it. What we're looking for is any DIY hack that solves a problem. They might not even know that there's pain points, but you'll see them. The final version is when our teams actually start to do those things. And use a roof rack, they're taking off your wetsuit in a parking lot. You can take all the insight in the world that somebody just gives to you. There's no replacement for doing it. I want people to say, whoever designed this product knew exactly what we were thinking, where we were going, where we want to go. We started to realize that the brand, it was really just a reflection of our consumers' lives and the people we'd met along the way. We've incorporated a lot of really nice features which the customer will probably never notice. And that means we did our job well. The removable flashlight in the door came by is watching all the people that had a flashlight placed next to the seat. So, we created a flashlight. In that little feature, I love something that's like an Easter egg. I don't know if you've ever put a pair of wax skis on uh, an automotive paint surface. It's like down. There's a rubber strip that's on the end of the tailgate, so you could set your stuff against it and it won't fall off. Roof racks on traditional vehicles, they're not very aesthetically pleasing. They add weight and they're bad for aero. Your ability to put your bike on your car in just a few minutes was the differentiating factor of whether you'd ride at the end of the day or not. Got into some research, trying to make it as streamlined and invisible as possible. So we focused on developing ports that are strategically placed around the vehicle in a quick disconnect process. Moving the monuments that burden ICE vehicles really allows us to open up packaging space carving areas of the interior out. I don't know of another truck that has as much storage, whether it's the bed, the trunk, the gear tunnel. Favorite feature is the gear tunnel. Well, let me tell you about my Rivian. We're looking for package space. And we're like, no, we can't do it, it's too crazy. And then now it's just become part of the car. Space where you can put your snowboard or your golf clubs, anything really. Or if you've seen some of the other ideas using the gear tunnel, for example, to put the camp kitchen in it. It's all based on the things that we heard people say and then the types of systems people built to drive some of the insight. We used an induction cooktop to not make people rely on propane. We thought a lot about the different types of cooking that people do when you go out camping and the kind of space you need. And this creates like a really nice work surface. You also have things like a sink, Cork is sound dampening, so these metal pieces inside it can rattle around, but you're not hearing anything. And of course, the Camp Classic, cast iron. We have a lot of opportunity to innovate on these forgotten areas. People will start to see the work that you're making that you've learned and you based on what they do and how they live their lives. All of these things come together to give you this sense of, wow, people have really thought about this. Looking at how sand and water, snow and rain and mud can inform the materials that are used in the inside. So on a lot of the interior materials that we used, I would literally grab the swab and rub it on my shoe. If it turned gray or white, I said, this is not good, we don't want to use this. You're okay to get them dirty, you're okay to get them muddy. That's another one of those opportunities we had to do something different. and engineers get detached from the product. That's when vehicles tend to turn into washing machines or consumer products rather than things that people love. At the end of the day, we're all trying to make one awesome product. To prove to people that they don't have to give up their adventure side or their outdoor side to have an electric vehicle. Take a left turn and go out in the forest, go up a mountain, 
Uh, that's quite special. That wind in your hair. I feel like a kid again. Being free. Disconnecting from everything. I feel like I'm alive. Uh, complete mental reset. Adventures generating memories that you're proud of and that you want to talk about. The ultimate adventure for me, the adventure of my lifetime, is, is building this company. Through the times that I've been forced out of my element, I've seen so many things that have made my life richer. You realize the world is a much more beautiful and awe-inspiring place.